Welcome back everyone. Uh, if you can't tell, back in Flamingo and uh, I just got out on the grass flat. Sunrise was about a half hour ago, I think. So, saw a few tails already. The water is a little bit ripply this morning. It's not completely glass clear or smooth. But like every morning out here, Looks like it's going to be a good one. Stick around. Let's go see if we can catch some redfish on the fly. Caught me off guard. That was cool. That was really cool. Come here, bud. two of them and uh, I saw the tail sticking out so I kind of threw right next to him and I couldn't see him because I wasn't I'm not up high enough but I heard him swirl on it but my hook set was hilarious if you saw that <sighs> whatever works I guess Nice fish. Well, it's the first one in the morning, and my heart is racing like crazy. Come here for a little quick picture. Fish. 
going all over the place. Another beautiful redfish. Wow. This just gets better and better. All right, well the sun is the wrong way, but this guy has got some cool looking spots on him. Check that out. Look at that fish. Just a beautiful, beautiful specimen of a redfish. Gorgeous looking tail. Let's get him some. All right, well, gonna get him off this hook, get him into some water, get back to fishing. So, this is the first and actually only redfish I've caught today. There's sheep's head everywhere, but no redfish. So, uh, I was gonna release him, but I got him hooked inside the mouth, and when I took the hook out, he was bleeding a little bit. So I put him in the live well to see if he'd get his energy back, and he didn't, so. Not gonna go to waste. I'm afraid if I try to let him go, he's just gonna die anyway, so. He's gonna be supper, so stay tuned for, I guess a redfish catch and cook. They're tasty. All right, bud, back in the live well. All right, welcome back everyone. Check out that sun, beautiful tonight. Anyway, it has been a few days since that last fishing trip, but thanks to this awesome freezer, we're able to keep some fish. We don't keep a lot of it, but when we are catching them and the bite's good, I'm able to save some redfish. So tonight's menu is going to be a little surf and turf. Could do some redfish and strip steak. So this is the redfish working on the steak. 
And then we're gonna do a side of broccoli salad, grandma's broccoli salad. So what do you got, honey? Yep, so for the dressing, you just use your favorite mayo and vinegar and sugar to taste. Stir that together. And add your broccoli. And then your favorite toppings. We like bacon, cheese, and red onion, but you can add whatever you'd like. Actually, I'm just gonna, there we go. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm gonna let that sit in the fridge for a few minutes and uh, we're gonna get started on our steak and some fish. Yeah. All right, so we're going pretty standard with the steak. Just gonna throw it in and sear it. We got some olive oil, salt and pepper, and then rosemary, garlic, and butter for the basting. Pan nice and hot. Get that guy in there. Right now we're going to turn the heat down, throw in a big chunk of butter, a little bit of rosemary, our crushed garlic, and start basting it. That is the turf side of our turf and turf. I think I've got to ready to get. Oh, wait. Okay. Just gonna let him rest for a little bit. So up next is going to be the surf part of this dinner, which is going to be our wonderful redfish, which has been filleted. And we like to cut them up into little chunks to just fry nicer. I like to use some coconut oil. And of course, you got to have some butter. About that much. Grab your favorite fish breading. Ours is always different. I like to try them all. I think this is like red lobster or something. Signature fish breading. We'll see what it's like. Get your fillets and get them in here. Give them a nice shake. Shake it, shake it. Just a second. Get this butter nice and hot. Your little fish chunks in the hot oil. It's gonna get a little hot, but I gotta get this pan to heat up. We need some heat. I don't really have a time. I usually like to check them to see. Once they've got a little bit of brown on them, you can see some of these are thicker than the other ones, so some of them are gonna be ready before the others, but just keep an eye on them. Depends how how dark you like them. We like them crispy. I think some of these are almost done. There we go. Get that golden brown color. Some of these bigger chunks take a little longer, but that's all right. These guys are done.
and should be done. All right. Hit him with a little bit of salt. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get this all plated up here. Time to plate this all up. Look at that steak. That's ridiculous. That is actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Mmm, gotta keep some of those juices. Some of these woo, really hot little fish nuggets here. Well, this is gonna be a full plate. And of course, can't forget this delicious broccoli. black pepper and there you go a little surf and turf redfish style looks awesome give this a shot that looks delicious this steak is really good we don't eat steak a lot Hmm. And the redfish. We'll try the broccoli salad with the fish. A little broccoli salad. A little fish. This is amazing. I like when it's crispy like mm -hmm. that. It's gotta be a little crispy. Good stuff, honey. Mm. Thank you for supper. Excellent. Well, that was fun. We finally got back here, got our fish cooked. Glad we did this steak. The steak actually turned out mm -hmm. really good. I think redfish has got to be my favorite fish. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. This was a fun one to make. Uh, we did a little something different, a little surf and turf. We haven't mm -hmm. done that before, and I'm glad we did. We don't eat a lot of steak, but this is delicious. So definitely be doing more of this in the future. Uh, stick around and let us know what you guys think. And we'll be making some more videos. Catch you later.